Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to easily set up ClearyPass for DAW1X authentication with Arabian AP. So let's log in first into a ClearyPass GUI. So the first thing we want to do is go to the configuration section and actually look at our services we are offering in ClearPass. It's a fresh installation, so nothing is really here. So let's add a new service. I will choose a template which is called aruba.1x wireless because it will pre-populate some of the attributes so I don't have to do it manually. And then I specify a name for it. And uh, for, for this demonstration, it's all I want to do. With authentication section, I'm pretty fine with authentication methods which are by default available here. I just want to do that I will add authentication source which will be local repository, so local users because we want to keep it simple for this demo. No roles, no enforcement policies uh, yet. Uh, we are fine with that so let's see a summary and save it and we're done here. Next thing we want to do is to add our Aruba AP uh, in a devices section. So basically we need to configure devices, switches and access points which are going to talk to the clear pass. We can specify IP address or even range or even subnet, for example, from the management management network and specify some route is short secret and the vendor name is Aruba, so we're using Aruba Dictionary. There are you know more than 200 vendors uh, supported here. So the last thing is, let's add the local user. So we will do some name, password, and we will select some role. Uh, which is not really necessary uh, with with this demonstration because we're not doing anything with that but that's that's pretty much what we need to do in a clear pass so now let's move on and go to the aruba instant ap uh, which is also unconfigured so what i want to do is i want to create a new wireless network which will be leveraging dot1x authentication against clear pass so let's click on new and specify some ssid about the VLANs and other things like that. I don't really care for the purpose of this demonstration, but the security level is going to be enterprise. And I want to authenticate against authentication server, which is external. And I will define some profile for my ClearPass. So basically I am putting IP address of my ClearPass installation here and a shared secret, which needs to match whatever we have configured in the previous step. And that's pretty much what we want to do now. Then uh, there is also accounting. I want to do accounting to learn more about, uh, you know, transfer data and things like that about the users. No restrictions. We're fine with that. And with this, we have pretty much uh, uh, done the configuration on Aruba instant side. So well, what we're going to do next is uh, to actually uh, try this out. So what I'm going to do now is to take a look in my laptop whether the SSID is already visible. It seems it is. Uh, sorry for, for the Czech language here. I, uh, what I've clicked on is connect and it's the very first time. So um, the Windows will try a lot of different you know, authentication methods and a lot of different things. So it may take a while, uh, but it is asking for the username and password. So it, it's detected that there is a DAW1X authentication. So we just you know, put in all the details and we'll start to do authentication against ClearPass. Once again, uh, it is of course better to, to configure Windows uh, to exactly know what authentication method is going to be used. Uh, but if you don't do it, uh, Microsoft will figure it out by the first time. It may take a, a little while, but then it, it is actually stored and very fast. So even in the GUI of the Aruba Instant AP, you can see that the user is connected and you can even see the name um, because Aruba Instant AP has this information as well. So let's go back to the clear pass and uh, uh, look into a monitoring section into a access tracker and uh, here is our authentication request logged so there is some summary and we can take a look on the input parameters here we can see we are using peep ms2 version 2 here which is windows default and those are attributes we have received uh, from the actual device our binds done ap in our case and there are some other attributes which are calculated that's a clear pass uh, doing those things there are no output information because we did not use any, any policies and things like that. And accounting is on. We can st still see that the, the session is active, but there will be probably uh, yeah, no information about utilization because uh, you know the session just started. So we will get this information a little bit later on when the user disconnects. So what I want to do now is to show you some, some of my previous attempts 
and um, demonstrate that there has been accounting because I don't want to wait with you till this information arrives. Okay, let's see here. All right. Yeah, so in this example, in my previous authentication, this is what the accounting is all about. So it, it gives you information about transfer data. So that's it. It is not really, really difficult. So that's how you configure ClearPass for basic Garwanix authentication against Aruba Instant AP.